Hello everyone, welcome back to a video on the Mills County map. Today we are back here with a repo series. We just got a list of 5 things that need to be repoed from the bank. We'll be heading over to the shop this morning in our brand new 2019 Ram 1500. Let's take a quick walk around here before we head on out. We do have the two-tone paint here which looks awesome, the rubble package, the 4x4, and we do have a few technology features. Now while the Hemi has been warming up, I've been shooting a few hoops here in the driveway. It's great exercise and it's just uh, nice to speed up the time as the truck warms up. Today we will be using our brand new 2020 F3. 350 wrecker as well which should be pretty cool now a list of repos here for today includes five things but two of them are packages we have a players with a utility trailer a center console boat with a boat trailer and we do have a tier to pick up I'm really excited to be back here with the repo series I did one a few weeks ago many of you guys liked it so I thought we'll be back here to do even more this will be busy here as we'll have to drive around town trying to locate all of them and I will have to say especially the boat which we'll be uh, trying to find we've been actually kind of looking for for a very long time and we just got word that the boat and the trailer were out of the water but here it is guys our brand new wrecker this is a 2020 Ford F350 here really do like your full strobe lights and we do have the wrecker body here on back now we will have to drag uh, the tail to pick up I don't see a problem there we might have to just put a new Neutral, but this thing looks awesome here let's hop here on the inside just kind of take a quick look here at the strobe lights as well definitely want to check that out that looks awesome so I think why don't we go uh, see if we could find the uh, boat with the trailer now the boat and the trailer combined is $75,000 it's a pretty expensive boat and I think we'll probably just go uh, with uh, what it's worth now as a repo man we do get a pretty big percentage as well uh, so this will be a pretty big paycheck if you do end up enjoying today's video, please drop a like. It's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithms. And if you do have any cool ideas here for what we should repo next, please let me know. I really do like doing these. These are a ton of fun here. Now, I do want to do some multiplayer ones as well and have a few people uh, kind of come in and act as uh, people. But here we go, guys. And there it is with there. Wow. Right out front. I'm actually very surprised. Usually when something's up for repo, it is just much harder here to find here. But why don't we block the driveway? We'll get the strobe lights going. We'll have to take a few pictures and we'll check the VIN. Now, I, I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been uh, so far so good. So the trailer VIN is that. We'll have to check the VIN uh, by these engines. And there we go. Perfect. It is a VIN now. Sometimes uh, repos like this are a bit tricky. Both the trailer and the boat were the package deal. And the boat just got taken out of water a few days ago. Awesome. We got all of the pictures. Let's get attached and head back to the shop. Now sometimes repos are easy like this, but other times repos are much harder and uh, they take us a long time, even months to find. Now I am trying to be as realistic as possible here. It is a little tricky with how a uh, farm sim works, but so far we've been doing a pretty good job here with this series. That looks to be good here. Let's see if we can get it attached. And there we go. We got it here. Going to be a little tricky, more than likely. We'll have to readjust a few things here. Let's see. Can I just really quickly uh, let's see what's going to happen? We'll readjust that all the way up. And looks like I might have to uh, just see. So that looks to be good right about there. Seems to be good. Perfect. Let's head on back to uh, the shop. Now this upcoming week here on the channel, we do lots of cool videos as well. I'm really excited for just everything that's happening here with the channel have to make a pretty wide turnout if you're luckily no one's coming outside trying to chase us down as we are taking this I will have to say this is one pretty awesome center console dual engine 500 horsepower here is just so uh, so much horsepower and now it looks like it really just doesn't want to tow right here so we'll have to be careful here doing a little bit of drifting uh, but that's okay now, like I have touched on, guys, this is our brand new uh, wrecker as well. I'm really excited for this. This thing looks so, so cool here. It looks so awesome. The new uh, aluminum body Super Duties look great. Now, I really want to find kind of a Duramax, even a Cummins uh, wrecker as well. I think those will be pretty cool. Maybe we could get a rollback soon. Now we are once again back here on the Mills County map. Has to be one of my favorite maps in all Farm Sim as well. It's just such a great map. So many cool things we could do from construction to repo uh, to uh, lawn care. 
All right, so no problem here, and we'll definitely have to call in and just let them know that we got this repo here. And why don't we put it inside the garage? Usually at the end of the night, I do try to put everything indoors. That way, we don't have any problems with someone trying to come out at night here. But looking at it right now, it looks like we are going to have a little bit of a problem uh, just trying to even get this backed in here. Let's see what we can do really quickly. We'll just kind of get it backed up just a little, sliding around just a little bit. Right there seems to be good here. I'm not sure if it's really going to clear with all of those lines up and about there, but let's see if we get it disconnected. Perfect. And there we go. Awesome. So we got that drops. We'll get the lights off here. Now the next repo is going to be a Polaris Ranger a 900 along with, I believe it's an 8 foot utility trail. Let's go see if we can find it. Now we did actually have a few people go out to the property and try to find it and they just haven't uh, been able to and this morning I got a uh, text from someone and they drove by, they saw the trailer and the players. Now sometimes they are at the location, sometimes they're in the garages, it's just a really hard thing and it's pretty hard to predict. Why don't we go down a few back roads as well. I really do like this new wrecker here, looks so nice here, really do compact uh, the uh, size with the regular cab in the smaller bed. So what we do have a key to the player's ranger which is going to be a bit easier than just trying to drag it up on the trailer and we should be good to go here. Now I do see the trailer, we'll just block it in uh, just in case we'll get the lights going. Let's run around the side, see if it's anywhere over here, I'm just not sure. We'll run around the side here and I don't see anything just yet and there it is guys, the player's ranger. We do want to take a few pictures, wow this looks almost brand new here. Now we were told they are four months behind on payments, they bought it and just have not paid and the payment on this thing is still like $200 so it is still quite a bit of money uh, to own one of these here. So we'll just get that ready to go, we'll have to get the ramps out and we can strap this down to the trailer which will be pretty neat. We get backed up here, really do like all the strobe lights here, they do look awesome. Now I am going back to school here within the next few days here, I'm really excited too and I hope that everyone has had an overall great summer and that we definitely have lots more cool videos to come. And perfect, we got that attached, kind of looks like the tow bar isn't attached there but it does seem to be, looks like we're having a little bit of a tricky problem with that but there we go, we'll get to the uh, ramps out here, sometimes we do run into problems and see we'll just drive forward right about there and we'll get it strapped down so sometimes I do see that the tow bar interferes when we do try to attach there but there we go we'll get this loaded up and then we just gotta get strapped down now this does seem like a pretty small trailer here for what this really is so we'll have to be careful let's see if we can put a few straps here on it we'll see let's see if we can just kinda roll it forward right there and actually no we wanna roll it forward right there perfect we got a strap there strap there two straps that should be good enough for a DOT and there we have it guys the second repo of the today is complete and we already have four uh, pieces of the puzzle if you want to put it we have one more which is a Toyota Tacoma it's a pretty new one as well and they just haven't made any payments and we have to go find it and pick it up now like usual we'll go by the main house and if they aren't there we'll have to kind of go down the list of where else they could possibly be I will have to say the small utility trailer here with that Polaris on the back looks pretty cool. I am a big fan of that Polaris Ranger, such a cool UTV, you could have a bit of fun but you could also get uh, some utility work done as well. So far the F-250 has been a great workhorse here with that 6.7 liter power stroke. You definitely have to have a diesel uh, when you uh, have a tow truck like this. You need that extra torque getting up to speed and just for towing in general. And we are back here at the shop, so why don't we give it a try. Now the Toyota is red in color, I believe it is a 2018 as well, and they are I think months behind on payments, we'll have to look at the paperwork, but it is a pretty long time here. We'll put some trailer tongue locks on these just to make sure we don't have any problems there. But there we go guys, we got two repos done, looks like the jacks uh, just kind of don't seem to really be wanting to work here on those, uh, which is a bit funny there. But there we go, let's just raise a uh, tow bar back up. And looks like that just doesn't want to move. Maybe that is the uh, what's happening here. Let's see. Can we get that disconnected? Perfect. 
And there we go there. So I just reattached and maybe that fixed the problem, but that just doesn't seem to really want to move here. Wow, that is interesting. I have not actually had that problem before. Let's see if we disconnect it, give it one more try. And there we have it there. Looks like we will have to uh, kind of look at the malfunction there, but let's head on out and see if we can find this. Now they do own a business here in town, so more than likely since it is uh, just after uh, the early mornings, we'll have to go check the business. Well, well, let's check his house first. And it's going to be this uh, next side street up here to the left hand side. We'll drive by the house, really don't want to be too uh, kind of what's happening uh, and uh, kind of spook some of the neighbors here, but it's the blue house and I don't see anything, don't see anything in the backyard as well, so why don't we go over and see if we can find it. He does own, I believe it's a Tim Hortons here in town. Now, if you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there in uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. And I just really do enjoy interacting with all of you guys. So drop anything down below and I will definitely respond to you guys. It is a lot of work, a lot of time, but it's something I do enjoy. And from a distance, I could see something right there in the parking lot. So we'll get it blocked in. More than likely, uh, that is it because he does own it. And I believe it opens up soon, but maybe we just have to stop and eat at Tim Hortons. Let me know down below, guys. What's your favorite uh, kind of fast food area? We'll get it blocked in. And this does uh, seem to be it. We'll take a few pictures here and then we'll check the VIN. And the VIN number matches. Let's see. Now it is in gear. We'll have to put it in neutral because we are pretty much going to drag it uh, with this. Uh, definitely want to use a rollback, but we don't have one. Uh, and today we got to make do with what we have. Sometimes you can't always use the nice fancy equipment. And this uh, will be a little tricky as well. Not sure exactly what's happening with the tow bar. But let's get this disconnected and get it reattached. We have the tow bar in position here. Looks like we are running into a bit of a tricky problem there, but there we go. Let's just kind of get this uh, winch turned on here. Now, this will be a bit tricky getting it back over to the shop, but we should be good to go there. Perfect, and we're ready to go. I did also put in neutral getting uh, to use those tools there, but let's head on back to the shop. I hope you guys enjoyed today's busy day here as we rebuild five different things. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.